hello guys my name is Zahid and uh, today in this uh, tutorial video I will show you how I created this sci-fi hologram effect in After Effects using a Stardust so basically Stardust is a node based particle system by Superluminal you can download you can purchase it from their website and uh, actually I posted this video on reddit uh, a few days back and few people asked me to show how I created this so I used an obj file uh, uh, you can download that for free and uh, I'll be putting the link of that in the description okay so let's jump into our facts so here I'll start by creating a new composition uh, I'll set it to 1920 by 1080 25 frames per second and duration you can set anything you want mine is about five seconds okay and i'll create a new solid layer name it anything holo holo make it comp size and okay now i'll apply the stardust effect on it sdrd stardust and this Let's create a camera as well, just in case. 35 mm is good. Okay. So here is my uh, default emitter node and particle node, where you can see I get these um, basic particle setup. So I'll start by setting up my emitter here in the effects panel so i will go from emitting type from point to object and for that i need an object so i'll scroll down in the object properties and double click here and browse my obj file the link for that is in the description so here is my daft punk helmet obj file i'll click ok and ok so first I'll center it, make it center, align it with the comp and you know uh, let's set the uh, speed to zero and yeah let's set up our particles first so here you can see uh, live seconds uh, is two so basically what that means is that until you reach uh, the two second on your timeline the particles will uh, every particle will not be displayed after that the particle uh, full generation of particles will be there so now what i'll do is i'll just decrease it about uh, 0.5 seconds there and let's increase the size here of the object uh, to about this, this much is good and increase the number of particles per second this much is good I guess huh? And in the object properties, I will set from emit type from edge to face. So here is my basic shape of the helmet that I used. And here the particles are too big. So in the particle node, I will change the and particle properties. I will change the size to about five pixels, I guess. No, let's go smaller than that. Two. Yes, two is good. Two is good. And uh, go to particle color, change it from solid color to color over life. And in the gradient, you can set here your own desired color. So I will double click here and go about this reddish color. 
and double click here in the middle and go this yellowish color more let's set it to blue much here one more blue make it a little darker and one more here like this okay and change the transform mode to add or screen actually both are the same so if i'll uh, preview this so here you can see the basic uh, particles are uh, generating and disappearing so this is our basic uh, setup here the basic uh, skeleton of the helmet so one more thing just to make just to tell you that um, the stardust needs one frame to generate the particles so if you are making a looping animation so for that you want to uh, trim your workspace so i will just go press page down to go one frame forward and hit p to uh, trim my workspace so you can get a perfect looping animation here and uh, before i go uh, forward i'll first animate this uh, a helmet here so I'll press J to go to the first frame and in the emitter node I will go to my uh, object properties and uh, click on the stop <coughs> of Y here and let's make this smaller and I'll press K to go to the end frame and uh, rotate it by 360 degrees so I will just click here one once one for rotation so as you can see here this helmet is rotating now let's move forward now what I will do is I'll just uh, duplicate both the nodes control D to duplicate them and move them here so in this emitter second emitter node i will uh, go to this emitting type from default to sequence sequence and uh, object properties uh, yeah this is good so uh, here you can see this and uh, this is giving it a random uh, look let me um, give a real quick ramp up first of all I mean just increase the particles in here and yeah wait I guess the particles in this emitter second is very the size of them is very small so let me increase it by three and in this one three as well Particles, yeah, good. Now, if I hit enter, so you can see the um, it generates the color randomly. Actually, it projects the UV of how this uh, file was made. So this is the basic look, basic setup of this hologram. So as you can see in my original video, there is this uh, shimmery glowing effect on this uh, helmet. So how I created this, uh, I let me just close this and search for I can use any glow uh, preset and uh, for that I use uh, star glow by red giant star glow put it on this now we need to do little basic setup here so i changed the input channel from lightness to red so it gives this little uh, 80s kind of look uh, it is glowing effect and boost the light about this tree is good boost the light streak about 24 is good 
okay let me just give a quick ramp of this so here I have done a little quick uh, ramp view of this so that here is the main uh, look how I got you can change some settings as uh, well to get more precise look let me just click the notes to here again and go into the emitter 2 and uh, I'll just uh, increase the subdivisions to about 15 to give it a more faster look yeah this one is coming just quickly ramp through this again so uh, what you can you can also do is that you can increase the particle size and uh, change the particle color if you want according to your own look and well increase this size to about three to make particles a little bigger now yeah this one is looking much better okay let's just wait for a quick ramp preview so this is the final look i almost made it the similar which i previously made so this is the final render you can play around with different settings the particle size the particle speed the colors and you can get your own desired look and one more thing in my original video the and this the glowing effect by star glow is animating on the beats so basically i did it manually in premiere pro if you can also achieve that if you have time and patience you can do that manually or what you can do is you can use a plugin called frequent frequency react which uh, using audio channels you can animate the opacity size or uh, position of uh, any uh, animatable property of any layer or you can use some expressions in the audio channels to animate your effects so you can do that as well but i'm not much familiar with expression so i had to do it manually to uh, animate it on the beats so this is pretty much it how i created this sci-fi logo um, so thank you for watching